What's up, everybody? This is my first video or um, face cam uh, one, I guess. I'm going to be attracting all the audio to um, the final, the final uh, album today that I'm going to be reviewing is Cry Up For Metal by a band called Vampire. They're very good. Um, I really like them. Uh, this is a 10 track album. Let's start off with the uh, first song. It's kind of an intro kind of thing. So let's do exactly what we did before. Let's do Oath by Vampire. All right, sorry. Ignore the ignore the opening. Uh, this song is just a good opening of a very good album. Um, let's go to the second to the second track. This is called Sinner. Um, it's fast, heavy, loud. I'm not going to do any air drums. I might sing. This is Vampire. This is Sinner. I love this drum part. Let's go. Down low, he's the sinner. Well, alone. No, 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 All right, track two is Sinner. It it sets the tone for the album. It's just a classic heavy metal speed. It's just a classic speed metal album. It's just speed metal, even though here the genre says heavy metal. But it's pretty much, it's just speed metal. It's it's good. It I mean, it's a very good track. A very good, a lot of songs on this album just usually just start off with the drums and then the whole band comes in it's almost like a it's a it it's jamming almost if you if you think about it because then like with the opening it goes din, din, pss, you know the double bass and just you know that kind of stuff we're going to the next track and this is just about speed death it's called indianapolis and if you guess by the title, it's about the Indianapolis 500. I guess it just talked about Indianapolis because that is a very fast auto race. So we're going to do Indianapolis next. Good track. <laughs> Right. Right. Fame. Uh, back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just added that metal and that thing in the in the background. If I were usually when I listen to my music because I'm into it and I, you know, I'm like every other person that's in the metal. I just like to, you know, pretend I'm in a band so that oh yeah, it was just, you know, it adds to it. This song, like I said before, the fast intensity loudness just makes this. It's almost like it transports you 
to in in a race. You know, you're but I don't understand what Satan has to do with with speed. I I guess I don't know. It's a good song. We're gonna do Hell Bent Angels next. This would be this is kind of, I call this just a classic metal anthem. You know, it's how I discovered this album because of Hell Bent Angels. This I would consider it to be kind of an underground classic if you think about it. Because a lot of the because this is technically underground. You're not gonna like you're not gonna like hear it at like, on like MTV. Oh, they're gonna play the vid, you know, like that kind of stuff. It's probably too heavy for M MTV. So this album is good. I really like it. Let's do Help and Angels. All right, so this is actually, this isn't, this is, now, some of the songs on this album, I just consider this album, even though the genre I have it as heavy metal, I still consider this to be heavy speed, because unlike the, unlike Iron Angel, Iron Angel being more in the line of power thrash, but this song is just, it, it's, it's a, a song called Randy, by a, or a band called Randy, and they're from Denmark. And they have a song called Beast in the Night. It's like that same kind of album. As if you search on YouTube for underground heavy metal anthems, this song comes up. There's a band called Gravestone, which I will be probably reviewing in another episode. Has this sort of, I guess, I mean, it's just typical, typical classic heavy metal. It's, it's right up there with like a, you know, like, you know, like a, it's hard to say. I mean, but it has, it's up there. It's good. It's a very good album. All right, now we're going to do Skeller Man. I really like this song. Oh, wait, no, 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 ignore that. Okay, so the next song, obviously, we're going to review is Mercy Killing, but... So this song, eh... I mean, it's a, it's an okay song. I don't really get it, like, with... With, um... With, like, Hell Bent Angels, it's good. The next song we're going to be listening to is Mercy Killing. Even though I find this album all killer, no filler, it's still, like, there's other... Usually there's one song I don't like, but I don't want to remove it from like the album because I mean it still fits. I mean with this album you're not you're not here to look for oh oh is this going to be a speed metal album? No, I just consider it because a lot of in the 80s, especially with Judas Priest or because this band reminds me of Judas Priest even though when they were interviewed because there was this show called I think heavy metal where they played the entire album um they they say they're influenced by Motorhead I guess the guitarist is which I consider Motorhead to be heavy I guess I mean just look at the video I don't really I mean I remember mentioning Motorhead I just don't I I just don't I'm just I just don't know German as much you know I don't really, it's hard to understand, but good thing they speak, in, uh, sing in English. Now, with, with this song in particular, I mean, if you hear the riffage, it sounds a lot like, um, there's a lot of bands on here that have that similar style. I guess, I guess it would be along the lines of like 80s Judas Priest. Because it has a den and den and den and you know den den and you know that kind of stuff. The it, it's very it has a very good underground metal sound. 
But like I said, but like I said, as a very good Judas priest, like the Judas priest I like is more the 70s stuff. Now, I do want to do a review of Sal Wings of Destiny. Just play that album. I'm a big early Judas Priest fan. I kind of started out like in the 80s stuff just because I was popular. But now that I'm in the more of the underground stuff, I've kind of realized that, you know what? Judas Priest superior albums are staying class. Sin up, I'm going to be honest with you, and I know I'm getting off on a tangent. Sin After Sin, it's a good album. There are some good tracks on it. But I believe that Sad Wings of Destiny and, and Stained Class should have been released together. I understand Sad Wings of Destiny is more progressive. I understand it's not all good. But when we get into that review, it won't be today. Today's kind of a German episode, just to review some of my German uh, favorite German albums. Now, today's also going to be a two-parter. I'm also going to review... Uh, an album by a band called Warrant. No, not the band who sings that Knowing Heaven Isn't Too or Far Away. They're next. I'm going to do them. Uh, but just get into the German speed kind. Of, I don't really listen to them anymore. I mean, they are good. But there is another album I do want to review that's German that plays. And it's and it's Running Wild. Um Gates to Purgatory, I think. Well, that's what I want. Whatever. So I'll let you know, but this is going to be a long video. I'm just going to let you know. So we have Mercy Killing. This is, uh, this is one of my other favorite tracks. Just good mood transition. We're going to play it right now. I can't do it today. All right, so that was Mercy Killing by uh, by Vampire. It has a slow transition, but like I like I said when I was reviewing a song like Sinner or or Hellbent Angels or even yes Sinner, it has it's a good song, and I, I will say this: it's a good album to listen to. This is, it's not like Iron Angel, it's not like uh, Hell's Crossfire or Wolves of Jericho where I could just listen to that hours and hours. This album, yes, but this song, it's mid-tempo, just typical of, ger of typical speed, uh, a heavy speed German metal where you've got, you know, just the fast drumming and the double bass. I just think double bass is common for traditional metal. Um, especially in the 80s. I mean, it's not really common for all the hard rock. I mean, you don't really hear a lot of double bass in hard rock. But with this song, I mean, it's a kick-ass song. Now we're going to do Metal Him 86. This is... I mean, it's an okay song. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this album is all killer no filler. But it's still good to listen to if you're in the mood to listen to... Some mid to tempo songs. So this is Metal Hymn, 1986. All right, so that was Metal Hem 86. Uh, it, it's a metal song. They talk about Born to Rock, Born to Rock. We are Born to Rock, all that kind of stuff. This song, though, I skipped part of it. I mean, it's a good song, but it's, it's that time of night where I'm just thinking, oh, I want to listen to this whole album right now. But this, since this is a track review, it's different. 
So basically, this reminds me of Judas Priest. It has that kind of typical, you know, it's just a tip, another typical metal, uh, metal anthem. I guess that's why I called it Metal Him '86 because it's that kind of anthem, and it has kind of a dun 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 da. We are born to rock, but you know that's you know they don't you know. I'm not a big fan of the vocals. You know, it's not Iron Angel. The the vocals, I mean, are okay. I mean, I like I like song. I like album titles that are metal because you know it's traditional. I if you see this band, if you ever seen a video of this band live, they have cheesy. It's like spikes and everything. It's it's eh. The next album that I'm going to review in this episode, since this is a two part episode. I mean, I'm still thinking. I mean, I know what I want. I mean, it's most this, these albums are mostly going to be German, but this next album is high on the list. Um, but I already planned this ahead. I just thought, yeah, it's a Friday night. I'm not really doing any gaming videos, at least until tomorrow. So just thought I would do this. So we're going to do Warrior next. This song is called... I mean, I mean sorry, this song is amazing. I really like this song. Um, this is... Probably one of my favorite songs on the album, probably next to Sinner, Halbin Angels, Indianapolis. Um, Mercy Killing, of course, being another good song. So we have Warrior. And then they're now now. 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 Uh, once again, tell him warrior. Tell the beat. Bye again. Another great track. This song is amazing. I was singing it because I love this chorus. It's not Warrior by Halloween in the sense that it's powerful. This song, but I'm saying this song is amazing. I mean, it's it's good. The chorus is just, right, one, kill, once again. But the double bass, again, it's good. Now, the reason I say speed metal, speed metal to me, it's kind of mid-fast tempo. But usually, especially, it has a lot of good double bass. And I love double bass, especially metal. You know, unlike modern metal, where it doesn't really have a lot of the double bass and it's it's different. It's this is more of traditional kind of stuff. So the next song we're gonna do is Breaking Metal. And I say metal just like just like I forgot to mention in the last video. I say metal, but uh, the way I hear it in heavy metal soldiers, like heavy metal soldiers and that kind of stuff. So we're gonna do Breaking Metal. Good song. I like it. It's I know people are going to look at me and go, "Why is why is he feeling all depressed about it?" No, it's a good song. It's just mid-tempo. It's just it has a it's very traditional. That's why I call this album Speed Speed uh, Heavy Speed because this is one of kind of more heavy heavy metal tracks. It's just a traditional kind of I, I it's, it's it's very Judas Priest like if you know what I mean. That's what I was going to actually review next was was Staying Class by Judas Priest. It's kind of a multiple like layered video. And now we're going to do the final track. The the band that uh, 
band title track, Vampire. No, not... Mm, hate that. All right, that's a good album. This is a good album closer. Now uh, I'm going to go all the way up, play an album that I really like. Now, uh, there's a lot of good German albums I like, obviously. Uh, but before I continue, especially uh, because of, uh, with, uh, with the final track, it's a, good, it's a good closer. I really like it. But like I said, I, I don't, I mean, I just thought I would review this. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to review an album. It's from Germany, right? Uh, it is. It's it's a very it's very good. Um. <laughs> um, am I done with all my favorite German thrash stuff? Uh, crap. Well, I just want to do one more quick uh, thing. Like, what other German albums do I like that I, that I listen to a lot of? Let me think. I mean, not, not, I don't think about it. it this is just a surprise, extra surprise. Uh, what, what, what album is it? Are these guys German? Wrestler? No, nah, I don't listen to them. Uh, <laughs> very funny. My mom and grandmother are just laughing like, why is he, why is he doing that? Okay, um, uh, where is that album that I like? Well, the last one has to be German. Oh, no, no. I'm going to do Scanner. Never mind. So, uh, I have to do, along the lines of more power metal, but I want to, I don't know. I want to do British. So, we're going to review this album right here. It's actually from a compilation. But this is one of my favorite albums of all time. It is called, it is by a band called Avenger. And this is disc number two of Too Wild to Tim by Avenger. Avenger is a British heavy metal band. And I, oh no, never mind. Never mind. We're going to do this one instead. I just forgot about it. Angel Dust, Into Dark Past, everybody. And we're going to do eight tracks of this. I'm sorry I couldn't I didn't think of it now but this is this is one of this right here is my Angel Dust Into Dark Pass is the first ever German thrash metal album I listened to like purely thrash where I was like you know what this is what I want my thrash to sound like so this is the real first band uh that I started listening to and I started getting into other stuff now, I'm obviously, in another episode, I will cover some some new wave of British heavy metal. You know, I don't, you know, I don't really feel like doing any other styles of music, I guess. But, uh, well, no, no, no. I'm, no, I'm pretty much done with Germany. But, uh, till, but I will be, next, I will be doing some more. Not in this episode, but we'll be doing so. I will be doing some uh, some new wave of British heavy metal. I actually have a lot of because I love the new wave of British heavy metal. But that band that I was showing you, Avenger, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be reviewing this entire um, entire um, anthology here. 
So we're going to start off with Angel Dust into Dark Past. The first track is an instrumental called Into Dark Past. Into the Dark Past. <laughs> All right, so good eerie album opener. I like it, but the first ever album, so the first ever song I listened from them was Atomic Roar, but this song, I'll Come Back, it's really good, okay? So I'm going to listen to this until the end, and then it turns right into I'll Come Back. Yeah, headbanging party tonight. This song is very good. Now, in the middle of it, it says, oh, uh, it says, it sounds like he says, because I'm not Jill Fold. I'll come back someday, one day. I cannot get free. I'll come back and never turn around. I'll come back and then turn around. What? Uh, I don't know. I got confused. It's hard when you have a lot of distractions in your house. So, but this song is very, this whole album, I like Vampire, I like Vampire, Cry Out for Metal, but this is the first album, because when I started getting into thrash metal, I loved Kill Em All by Metallica, that's all I would listen to by Metallica. This album right here is what is, when I think of Kill Em All by Metallica, this is the German version of it, and it is long, it is ballsy, it is amazing. This is what I want from a thrash album. There are other albums I listen to that are good, but the vocals are, I mean, just, uh, I'm great. But this song is good too. I love how it's, the first track is I'll Come Back. You know, it's good. Now we're gonna do Legions of Destruction number two. This is five minutes and 32 seconds. The one before that was Five minutes and eight seconds. There's only one song that is under the 430 mark, and that's Victim of Madness, but I love that song too. This whole album is amazing. I just spit, I'm sorry. I didn't spit at anyone, but let's do Legions of Destruction. Time in another place called Far. Awesome. This song is awesome. I love it. And I apologize if I'm not wasn't looking at the music headbanging. My family does not want me doing this video. I apologize. But and I'm not trying to throw them under the bus. I just need to do this. I just need to do this album. I just have to do it. Anyway, so this song, it 
it has fancy lyrics. Like, I don't know what the, I don't know what, it happened in another time and another place called Fall, you know, that kind of stuff. It, it's amazing. I mean, it, I love it. And it's just awesome. You know, it's almost like what I said about the Iron Angel album. And, and if it wasn't, if I never discovered this album, I probably would never listen to Thrash. I'm probably still listening to the hair metal. I, pr I probably would get into it eventually, but I probably would get more into traditional metal and not the newer British heavy metal and this kind of stuff. So that I credit this album to me fully becoming a metal head. So, so we've got the next track. This is called Gambler. Uh, seven minutes and 41 seconds. This, this guy, this song is a killer. Not the gambler and everybody's soul. I'm talking, talking back home. Good. So this song, another out. The, the, this is another good song. Obviously, as true, it's it's a mix of stuff. Now I wouldn't call it power metal per se, but it's still thrash. It, it's got a little melod, melodic. Uh, mel, uh, it's got it's a little melodic. I was gonna say melodicity mel, or mel, melodicity, but it has a little bit of melodic in it. I mean, it's still heavy. It's just, it's a long song and it's, you know, this album I get back into a little bit. You know, I love it. It's great. Um, but it's good. You know, I have a, a 64 gigabyte iPhone. I can just pour all this music on that here from YouTube. But this album in particular, I, I couldn't find it anywhere. At the internet, um, on the internet. This is before I had discovered Boneyard 80s Metal. This is where I, before I discovered all these, all these download sites. And this is when I used to torrent. Now I don't torrent anymore because you know it f's up my computer. But I actually found a YouTube converter, and this is one of the first albums I converted. But when I converted it, Atomic War was first. And then when I finally got the entire album, I was like, oh, so, so that's the first track? Damn, that's great. So we're going to do Barrier's Return next. Now, I was going to say this on Legions of Destruction, but I kind of forgot. A lot of these songs on this album have a lot of smooth transitions where it goes from, a, it kind of builds up to being slow. But it, this music I find to be very complex, you know. But it's still it's still fun to play if you like this style. So we're gonna do Fighters Return next. <laughs> Watch out, watch out. Look at the dead anger. I just see yourself, the fire of the revenge. And then the da da da. The bill bell. I got it the end. I knew it. Strike. Let's go out. Fight the life. Sorry. And you push the bow. 
Thanks for the love. But get that. Das war toll! Das ist... Ah. Battle is a turn! Ah. Alright, so... Another good song. I had to restart it, but there was a part in the song this is probably one of my favorite songs off the album it's amazing it's it's an all i mean it's great okay i mean this invokes the if you want to hear because angel just obviously came back they were a power metal band melodic power metal which kind of a lot of but the vocals in this song i mean you've got You've got a melodic vocal, but you also got kind of the rough vocal. So, you know, because I used to listen to a lot of death metal, but now I kind of am into, because I want to become a singer. Um, I like the, you know, I kind of listen to, so I like a lot of the old, the old stuff. And when I heard it, I wasn't really into the vocals, but I was more into the music. But when I listened to this album and I listened to the next one, To Dust You Will Decay, S. S.L. Cole, which is one of my favorite singers, along with Michael Kiska, Kai Hansen, Rob Halford, um, um, Ra Ra Ralph Shapiris, the singer of Tyrant Peace and, uh, and Gamma Ray and Primal Fear, uh, and then, of course, his solo work. I really like this song mostly for the vocals because when I'm not there, you know, then you have that stuff and then it when I'm not that you know, it's just it it kinda has that high falsetto kind of voice, but at the same time, it also has like the like something you would hear from like he almost sounds like uh Tom Andrew Ripper from Sodom. You know I I actually liked listening to Sodom back in the day. I really like Sodom. Um they're great. Uh I but that's a story for another day. I don't, I don't really want to review them because I'm a. I kind of lost chase. Uh, I I don't know. But when I listen to that song, he has that Tom Andrew Ripper kind of, kind of raspiness, but also more along the lines of like, kind of up there. Like he kind of has like a, a Kai Hansen kind of voice, I guess, if you were to say, because Kai does sing in falsetto, but he all, but what I mean by this song, it's just, it's great. It's, it's great. So we're going to do the first song I ever heard by this band, Atomic War, uh, Roar. Down, 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 <sighs> Watch out. Who can stop 
pop is bond in. Spell that all on the line. Yeah, all right. Um, that was Atomic Roar. Now, the riffage, do you know what it sounds like to me? If Remember when we reviewed Walls of Jericho by Halloween? The song Warrior Warrior from the Halloween EP, it has that dun, 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 dun. Like, it doesn't really, it's not that gallop. It's just that riff. It's like you've heard, if you're a fan of this music, you've heard it before somewhere. It's not like a made-up riff. See, if you're a fan of metal like I am, everyone built everyone it comes from somewhere and that it had it it, it it sounds like a bit of new wave of British heavy metal in a way. It it's not at, it's not Iron Maiden ish. I mean I am a big fan of the early stuff with Paul Diano. I love Killers, I love Iron Maiden, but Iron Maiden is more the melodic side. This song is not melodic. It 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 it's punchy it's ballsy it's amazing like just you know it's you can see him running and manas of it you know just ugh. so we got track number seven and this is a vi victim of madness yeah horns up Ness. A madness. Sing it. Madness. Madness. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Dun. Dun. That's, 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 that's an atomic wall. Madness! Atomic wall. Madness! 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 Ah! Ah! All right, wait, time out. Don't don't start yet. Okay. So what I've noticed in the beginning of the song, it's not common in a lot of thrash metal, is it's common in a lot of traditional metal where usually you, you usually hear an opening double bass. Well, he was using his his uh, right foot for well, I, you're not seeing it, but you know how with with uh, a band bands like ACDC or like modern rock band, you know they have the tss, tss, like the hi hat pedal. That opening had hi hat pedal. I don't I don't maybe he used. Maybe he had like, maybe he has a double bass pedal, like where it's, where it's two, two bass strikers, but that's really weird. But this song, I love it. I love singing the, I love the chorus. Victim of madness. Dun, 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 dun. Victim of madness. But again, he, the, the, again, the way he sings, it's falsetto, but it's also, it's amazing. It's. His falsetto is good. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you don't really hear a lot of thrash metal from falsetto. There is a band that I'm going to review, Deadly Blessing. We have an album called Ascend from the Cauldron and Jersey Band. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to do the final track of this album, Marching for Revenge. I'm 
Boxing Revenge. I will give to an end. But if our lies. Wanna live? I'm told after one to obey. I that uh, I have to obey. But go on that way. I has come to me to break the chains. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's um that's marching for revenge. Um once again, good chorus. I love the vocals again, but the the thing that makes this song great, once again, is the chorus. And the end where he says, I don't want to go that fucking way. Like, he, like, literally, it's just amazing. You know, and I don't think anyone, I don't think they realized, like, you know, back in the 80s, people played for metal. They, you know, they did it. And I don't think they realized, oh, no one's ever going to, like, listen to this album or review it. I'll tell you what, I'm here to, like, I commented on a YouTube video once, oh, uh, and this is one of my first thrash metal albums, and someone said, you have a lot to learn. German thrash, I'm like, excuse me? I have a lot to learn? And whenever I make a comment, like, someone says, oh, but that's the internet. Whatever, but this is it for my first day of review I have, this is, I, I did a video or two video. No, I did What Was Jericho by Halloween. I did Iron Angel by Halloween. Uh, and I did, I did Vampire and I did this album. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is black. This is not black metal. This is Battlefront CJ. And, and tomorrow we will play some Battlefront. Peace out, baby. Metal for life.